and tires. Bumpers are made of a buffer material that consists of foam aluminum. This video shows how the buffer material is crushed during a collision. Observing the deformation process of the foam aluminum is difficult with conventional x-rays. However, synchrotron radiation is sufficiently powerful to make such dynamic observations possible. Synchrotron radiation can capture how glass fibers that are blended into studless tires bite into ice. Such images cannot be obtained with conventional x-rays, which penetrate ice, glass fibers, and rubber in the same manner. In comparison, synchrotron radiation at Springate is sufficiently parallel that even the slightly different refractions of these three elements results in increased imaging contrast. Proteins constitute the major building blocks of living organisms. In order to develop drugs that bind to and affect biologically important proteins, it is necessary to determine the atomic structure of these proteins. The first step in such structure determination is the growth of protein crystals. Growing crystals that are large enough for conventional analysis is time consuming and requires much labor. Conventional methods require crystals as big as hundreds of microns. Spring 8, however, being considerably more powerful and sophisticated, allows the use of much smaller crystals on the scale of 10 microns or smaller. Furthermore, Complete datasets can be acquired in only several hours instead of several weeks. Spring 8 has already been used to determine the crystal structures of a number of proteins, including a macromolecular assembly that has millions of molecular weight. Detailed structural knowledge of disease-related proteins will aid considerably in designing chemical compounds that bind or react specifically with such proteins and lead to the development of clinically useful drugs. Studies at Spring 8 have helped to develop drugs that are used in cancer therapy, immunosuppression, hyperlipemia treatment, and other medical fields. Spring 8 has been used for research and development of industrial materials, including metals, textiles, glass, and cement. It has also been used in energy industries, as well as for research and development on daily necessities such as food, shampoo, shaving cream, and water. Synchrotron radiation at Spring 8 is also used for forensic investigation and archaeological authentication of unearthed articles. For example, X-ray fluorescence analysis is a highly sensitive and non-destructive method for such analyses. It requires only minute quantities to identify the elements present, including heavy elements, which are difficult to analyze with conventional low-energy x-rays. Forensic studies performed at Spring 8 helped to identify arsenic in the curry poisoning case in Wakayama Prefecture. In archaeological research, synchrotron radiation was used to determine the composition of the Sankakuen Shinjukyo mirror, that might have been used by the ancient queen Himiko. Synchrotron radiation produced at Spring 8 illuminates an atomic world that is otherwise invisible. Spring 8 is open to researchers worldwide and will continue to be a valuable tool for discovery in various scientific, technological, and industrial fields, including material science, life science, earth science, environmental science, nanotechnology, and biotechnology. Synchrotron radiation is a dream light that can illuminate the micro and even nano world. Spring 8 is a world-class facility that promotes and underpins the development of science and technology in the 21st century.
Here's the